First, it was flying metal, breaking glass, and now it's an apology. A city contractor has taken responsibility for a frightening accident we first told you about on Wednesday. CBS News' Lou Young has the story from the Upper East Side. The apology does not cut it in any way. This is what she's talking about, a piece of metal flying through a fourth floor window at the Asphalt Green Recreation Center on the Upper East Side Wednesday, peppering a woman with glass as she does yoga. It was very loud and um, terrifying. I mean, it scared the hell out of me. The city's building a new controversial garbage transfer station right next door. The ramp to it goes past the center. A spokesman for the city now says, sorry, the incident should never have happened, reads the written statement out of the Department of Design and Construction. The contractor, he explains, used improper equipment to lift and transport a manhole casing. Opponents of the Upper East Side transfer station are pouncing on the incident. It is validation of our point that this is the wrong place for a garbage station. It will not be the last accident. Absolutely not. The city's building the transfer station back there on the East River because it has a permit to do so from years ago. It's been grandfathered in, built back when that was an asphalt plant. But as you can see, now this is recreation fields. Opponents are saying the accident should cause the city to rethink the project or at least move the access ramp that runs past the center. It's the location of the ramp that's especially dangerous to children. The city says in response to the accident, work on the site is suspended until until its investigation is complete. We're on the Upper East Side. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Well, the Upper East Side Transfer Station project has been in the works since 2006.